was happening today. Back to our coverage of that controversial vote and rally happening at the Rockland Unified School Board meeting tonight. It's about parental notifications in schools. That's where we find ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo. So Bridget, people, how are they feeling about this proposal? And specifically, what are parents wanting to be notified about? Good morning, Walt. Well, most parents and teachers we spoke to, they are strongly against this policy change proposal that would require teachers and staff to notify parents three days in advance of following students telling them that they want to change their gender identity in the classroom. They feel like those matters should be kept private between the teacher and a student who trusts them in this safe environment or as they see it. So parents and teachers, they don't feel like their concerns have been considered by the school board as of yet. So they are going to be rallying well ahead of the vote tonight at three hours before the meeting even starts in hopes of finally getting their voices heard. I would say that they're, they're absolutely not representing the vast majority of parents. Families in the Rockland Unified School District are pushing back on a proposed change to the parental notification policy. The school board, made up of five members elected in Placer County, are considering an amendment that would require schools to notify parents within three days when their student requests to identify by a different gender or change their gender pronoun in the classroom. Those in favor of the proposal say parents should be included in those conversations. But for father of two, Price Johnson, the change would take away privacy protections for students who might not feel safe talking about gender identity at home. Uh, families that have LGBTQ members like my own, um, you know, we're crying out. We're saying, hey, this is not written in an appropriate, healthy way. This is going to get people hurt or put in uncomfortable situations. Mike Patterson with the California Teachers Association agrees. Most of the, you know, Teachers that I have talked to uh, are, are very much opposed to this policy just because the position it puts them in and, you know, the possibility that, you know, students safety and well being will be at risk uh, if this board policy passes. The president of the Rockland Unified School Board encouraging community input on the matter, writing on social media on two occasions that she's asking for Christ-loving individuals to join committees that provide recommendations to the board. But parents like Price don't feel like their concerns are being heard. And I think they're giving way too much credence and, and attention to outside pressures from third party organizations, be they religious or otherwise. I think that they should be practicing what they're preaching. And if they really, truly want parental involvement on these policies, then a policy like this can't be just made behind closed doors. Now we reached out to the school board members requesting interviews while still waiting to hear back, but it should be interesting to see what happens in light of what is going on in Southern California. The Chino Valley School District, they already passed a similar measure and as a result, they have been sued by the Attorney General in California, Rob Bonta, who says this is really about a force outing of students, uh, creating unsafe environments. And Walt, just into our newsroom, a judge has halted that policy in the Chino Valley Unified School District until that lawsuit wraps up. There's another hearing about it coming up in October, so it will be interesting to learn how that factors in to this upcoming decision in Rockland tonight, Walt. Yeah, you can be sure that when folks are arriving in Rockland tonight, they're going to be talking about that Chino uh, situation and uh, how that may affect them tonight and going forward. Bridget, thank you.